particular outfit. We've been doing a last day of the January, cold January days in the garden video and Tania finished it off. So yes, Tania in her new outfit that she wore for this video. So more suitable for the evening than a rainy Sunday afternoon in the garden, but there we go. And on the other hand, Raquela here was more suitably dressed for the occasion. What are nice shoes? And uh, she looks very smart. Very nice. So, there we go. There we go. I've opened this at last. The um, That little house is not. See? Hmm. Oh, I've got them kitted out ready in their Valentine's outfits for Valentine's party in the garden. This is Raquela. And uh, this is Tania, of course. The necklaces I made for her. And this is our Melanie. Very nice she looks too. Isn't that nice? Well, I got two of these from WH Smith. One seventy-five. It got two packs for a pound. So I got two. And then from the co-op. Oh, and I'm so upset. My my lovely hard drive. It's gone raw. You know gone raw and um, it's showing up as naught bytes and it's um, practically full up so I've got to find a way to <sighs> all my pictures and videos that I use for Windows Live Movie Making you know, to put my videos together. Luckily I'd put, transferred, I mean I'd copied a lot of them onto another hard drive recently but I love this and um, I don't know if because I dropped the bag recently. Of course you can take them, and I can't do it with one. You can, hang on, you can take them out, you see, hang on, let me show you. But usually, you can take them out of their housing. But, um, you see, there's the bridging thing. And in some of the others, um, this goes, it just means you can't access them. But I can take them out and put them into an, another case, and then they're fine. But with the, that's when they're not gone raw. They're still NTSFC, whatever it's called. So I'm going to have yeah, to talk about that another time. Anyhow, two of those from WH Smith on the co-op. One of these salmon, Moroccan style salmon salad. I've got four of the Lint, Lindor Mint. You know I love those. Two for um, 80 pence. One, one fifth, no, yeah, whatever. They're a special offer. One of these, a pound, and a co-op marzipan. And, um, oh, border, border dark chocolate gingers. They were only a pound. They are delicious. I've had those before. Radio. And um, this, uh, Mediterranean tomato chutney. I think my friends had this sometimes, and it is quite nice, so I thought I'd, I got some. And you, um, I don't know if you've got a... Perhaps you, I can get away with not having to keep this in the, in his fridge, but uh, it is quite nice because I'm I'm not mad on tomatoes, but uh, this has got a nice sort of uh, flavour if I remember right. If it's the same thing, not as nice as the rose harissa paste, which I love, but uh, it's still nice. Branston, my mother used to have Branston pickle. I remember, yeah, but she used to get something to to. Cucumber flavour sandwich spread, Heinz sandwich spread in cucumber flavour, and now you just can't buy it anymore. They just sell ordinary sandwich spread. I think you can get the cucumber flavour one in cucumber sandwich spread in Holland, I think, but why on earth don't they sell it in, in it, England anymore? It's ridiculous. It's delicious, the best one. I like it much nicer than the ordinary one, which I don't buy, but I always used to. You know, I remember that from when I was a child and I used to love it. It was delicious. And my friend, he was saying, he was going on about it. And he said, uh, he used to like cucumber spread. And he was saying, why can't you get it anymore? And I, I can't remember it. It was nice, refreshing. 
anyway I'm going off on one of my tangents as usual as I do so stopping now oh and uh, Dolly there you know when I um I've called her Ling by the way when I first got her and my I, I enthused over her I was full of enthusiasm and then I sort of started noticing things. I thought, oh, God, she'd, got up. she'd be better if she didn't have wavy hair. And then I thought, oh, God, she's got pixelation. But I'm, I'm not really bothered about that. But what really bothered me, I thought her eye was too far away from her nose because someone else had said her eye was too close to her nose. And another one. But, but, you know, I love her. I think she's lovely. And um, I wouldn't even have noticed if people hadn't been, if I hadn't heard other people start finding fault. Because I got her and then I listen to what other people were saying and um but um I just you know I think I want to retract if anyone had if anyone has watched my review I did for her on my doll channel you'll see how enthusiastic I was and then I made an amendment at the end saying oh dear I'm not sure now but I love her I think she's lovely I think her face is fine and who says everyone's faces have to be perfectly symmetrical because people aren't people aren't they're that's what gives someone character and individuality. So, yeah, I think her face is fine and I love her, so I just wanted to say that. But I just want to say, I just can't believe I looked at the... the you know the main ingredient in here? Sugar. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Sugar is the main ingredient. Oh, oh well, I don't have to buy it again, do I? I mean, I, you know, I have loads of sugar. I, I have so much sugar in nearly everything, but you don't expect it in something that's meant to be savoury do you honestly if it's not too much salt and everything there's too much sugar it's honestly i'm i'm surprised oh this eos lip balm now as soon as i start using it then it falls to pieces and all ends up on the floor and i salvaged some and then put it all back together and then started using it again tonight and then most of it fell off and ended up on the floor again so this is all i've got left now this this bit Oh, useless. I don't think I'd be wasting money buying any more of these again. Honestly, so annoying. And now this bit's fallen out. Look, see? That's fallen out too. That's all you're left with, just the... Oh, useless. Useless. Yes, and I know it's my useless surreal camera, but I mean, honestly, you can see, if I just hold it still, that's all that I've got left of it now. Oh. Oh, these are all dirty pork pies. I'm getting lots of black glue. They're nice. A little mini haul from Waitrose. Lifeboat tea. Tried this one before. It's a bit Williamson, so it should be good. The Moma, uh, raspberry, and coconut cereal, and it's a free <coughs> free Target books. Doctor Who Target book. That's a wall chart. So, you know, I like the Doctor Who. I prefer the old Doctor Who's rather than the modern one, I think, the ones I've seen. I've got DVDs of quite a lot of the old ones. I think I like the second Doctor and the third Doctor's times, the stories best. Especially some of the third Doctor stories that went in unit. But yeah, still, I like Doctor Who. I'm going to have the Collective Kefir Mango. I can't get my hard drive back, it's gone raw and um, check disc, can't do anything with it and um, I, I don't know how to get all my files off now, I'm gonna, I'm looking to, I've tried loads of different methods and nothing's worked so far, I'm so fed up with it. Oh, here's my haul from Waitrose and um, I've noticed that the Madeleines have got different packaging now, look they've got a, a blue bar. It says chocolate ole, chocolate au lait. Chocolate au lait, is that how you pronounce it? Bon Maman Madeleines, chocolate au lait. And on this one it says Bon Maman Madeleines with milk chocolate. So maybe this, yeah, this is all in French. So I wonder why that is then. Traditional 
French sponge cakes, it says on these, seven freshly wrapped cakes, and on the new one, it doesn't say any of that, it just shows a picture of them, but this is, this is made for the French market, so, oh, that, I hope that's not a bad sign, that doesn't mean they're going to... That doesn't mean they're going to stop doing them or something, but I like these. These are lovely. Nothing else, can't, no one else makes anything like those. More of these sweet and smoky and hippies. They don't do the individual wrap ones now. I've got some, well, at least they don't do them at Waitress anymore. I've got some cow tomato and spinach. You know, I like these veggie straws. These are new. I've not had these before. Garcia organic lentil with turmeric crackers, gluten free. I don't need them gluten free, but so so they look quite nice. And oh, I got this cheap thing of hand gel from Waitrose, quick fix. Some of my usual almond, 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 almond croissants. Waitrose weekend magazine free. A Doctor Who a magazine with a free Target book. Uh, it's, it's not a proper story, it's just got like little short bits from the forthcoming story. There's all the pictures of all the Target books. These things you can get in weight clothes, you just pick them up, they're free. And they have, oh, I won't go into it. Every time I try and show anything, it all sticks together, so you, you, then you end up not being able to and wanted to show some, oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to show the, the Nida Eggers, as if you haven't seen these enough. I got two. I got four one week, but I only got two. That's so I thought, you know, I won't go mad. I've got this to try as well, the coconut. This is nice. This idiot on any questions on Radio 4 so going on about people's mental health because of the lockdown. Well, my mental health has actually improved because of the lockdown, though unfortunately where I live you wouldn't think there was a lockdown at all. But at least it stopped some of the unpleasant and horrible behaviour you get from people. Oh. Cold brew, coffee and vanilla sk skier, skier, I don't know how you pronounce that, but um, that's it, it's quite solid. It's quite nice, but it's um, not as nice as it smells. It smells really nicely of coffee. I got it from Waitrose. Cold brew, coffee and vanilla skira. Skira, I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> it, it's, it's okay, it's meant to be good for you. Another night unable to sleep, so I've made an outfit for Sandy here. She's got a new outfit to wear now. I think that looks rather nice. Can we see? And, uh, and I've given Molly a new dress, sparkly. So, on a productive day, all night, for dolls. Oh, there's Pedro in his bag. Hmm. Shin's got her eye on something. I wonder what that is. <laughs> oh. Must go to bed. Oh, I'm having a cup of my lifeboat tea. I'm so cold, I can't think straight. Even this Lumiere candle holder, I couldn't get it to light. I, I'd lit a candle to try and keep warm in here because it's bitterly cold in my friend's bathroom. Got another new dolly, isn't she lovely? There's her dress, pretty. I just think of a name for her. She's got lovely long hair. Very pretty. And that's the candle I'm using, Vanilla Breeze. Oh, it is absolutely bitter. It's so cold in here. There we go. I won't be having a bath here, I don't think, this week, because it's too cold. Too cold. Yeah, what a pretty dolly. Isn't she lovely? So pretty. I chose the dress for her to wear. I think it suits her. Better than the other ones that I came. Came very quickly as well from China. Very nice. So pretty. 
and I can't sleep at night. I am um, I'm up till goodness knows what time till daylight. In fact, at least sometimes, and I sort dolls out. So, what did I do last night? Well, I found this necklace for um. Erin goes with her colour scheme and also I've got some other clothes for her to wear when I get fed up with seeing her in this one I and mean, I've made some more videos in the garden using her wearing this so I've made that necklace I'd already made it so I gave it to her and I found these little earrings out I had for ages I was going to give them to my doll Candice but she actually hasn't got pierced ears this one did have, this is Pansy so I've given her those little silver stud earrings which I already was sent to me as a free gift I'd, this one, they also suited her. I think I'm going to call this one Tansy. She's a pretty doll. She's the one who came yesterday. She's got lovely hair. Give her that little bag. And, um, so, yeah, so, uh, she needs some earrings as well. I did give her these white hoop ones, but they didn't suit her, so I've given them to Marcia here. I think they look nice on her. She never had pierced ears, but I've given her some now. I think that looks good on her. And I just need some, like, pearl studs or something for this one. I might do some stick-on ones like I've done before. But these looked nice on her. But on the other hand, she's got gold on her dress. And I thought I'd get some gold. I made this outfit for um, Sandy. I just... I made that for her the other night. Uh, and I found these... Uh, I did that on... Her, Janely's cupcake, as you can see, I painted it with acrylic, but um, I had some glasses for her, so I've put them on her. I found some glasses. She looks like Sailor V now, doesn't she? She does look like Sailor V. If you watch her, uh, if any, you know, anyone's into the... was the precursor to Sailor Moon. She became Sailor Venus in uh, the Sailor Moon franchise, but... Yeah, the original, Sailor V, she, that's what, she reminds me of her. <laughs> oh, Sailor V, saving the universe. It is bitter, bitterly cold. I've got a small Mountain Mowbray pork pie, a mini one. So too cold to have. I was going to have a veal ham. No, uh, something I can't remember but it, it would take too long to eat it out in this bitter weather. <laughs> I got one of these last week because I'm still using I didn't get many this week because I had loads. I only got one this week, this one, because I've still got a mango one out there. I mean a, a raspberry one out there in the fridge, in my friend's fridge. I've got uh, kefir, mango and passion fruit. But the Collective Kefir Company had a coconut one, cheap. I wish I'd got that because it was one of the large ones. And if they don't sell many, they stop doing them. So, But um, I thought I already had one, but I haven't. One of the coconut ones, and they're my favourite by the Collective Kefir Company. They're delicious. And a little while ago, Waitrose stopped doing those. So I hope they're not going to stop doing them again. <coughs> These look the Heston, the Heston. They've got the Heston blue speckled eggs again. But these look nice, don't they? See, early for Easter eggs, I know, but teriyaki rice crackers from Waitrose over a pound snack organization. Oh, I haven't had these for a while. Oh, these are nice. Charcoal biscuits. They are nice. And some more of the chocolate madeleines with blue bar on the label. I got another one of these. These are delicious. These are not because they're gluten free. I get them because I like lemon and poppy seed. From Waitrose, they're lovely. Of course, it would have helped if I'd had it on the macro setting in the first place, wouldn't it? But there you go. That's me. 
think what I'm doing now. Time, lots and lots and lots. I've got some of these Welsh cakes. They looked rather nice, I thought. Rather nice. Waitrose Farmhouse Medium Bread. You don't want to see the mundane stuff, I know. And some marigolds. I love these. I've got some baby potatoes. Some more of this nice cereal, the raspberry and coconut. Sorry about next door's dog. Mackerel fillets and spicy tomato sauce. And these are only 50 pence a can in Waitrose. See, paying only 50 pence for those pilchards means I can then get this red Pacific salmon, wild red Pacific red salmon, for 2 75 which is cheap for salmon. Oh, cheap for red salmon. These are only a pound, the five beans. And this is only one pound five pence, semolina, which is lovely. I got some floral and citrus scented orange blossom honey. I still can't get to the independent health food store to get my organic acacia. I mean, waitress do acacia honey, but I thought I'd try this one for a change. And I got some bee tip. The rest of my Waitrose haul. As you can see, I've got some of the Baker foil zippers. Um, these bags are invariable. They were cheap at the moment. In Waitrose, I've got some uh, moist toilet tissue. It's nice. I've got the Whisper bar, because I like the Whispers. And two of the Nider Eggers. i got two of the Barbie fashion packs, the new ones. I've, I've already unboxed them as it were. There's the inserts, just cardboard, nothing, no pictures. And uh, this is like the watermelon one, where you get that little bag with it. And this one is a more than a nice pastel themed, and with a little duck sound, a sausage dog on the bag. It's got a little hanger thing on the top, so if you took that off carefully you could probably use it as a you know, a little doll coat. I don't use the cut dolls. I don't have closets and things, so I haven't got the space. It's got a zip top. I think I'll try, we'll try them on Erin and Natalia here, see what they look like, see if they fit. Where's the dress? I wanted to see if the dress fits, here it is, to see if it fits um, curvy as well as regular size Barbie. And with those two, well, here's the skirt and top. It, the skirt is a slide-on one on Natalia. She's a curvy, as you can see. I think it's meant to be a bit of a crop top, and there's meant to be a gap. But um, because she's a curvy, of course, it goes very high-waisted, which means it's a lot shorter on her. So it looks okay, but we'll try it on the other one. Right, here it is on Erin. I think the top fits her better, although it is a little bit loose, but the skirt is just, you know, just turns round and round. You can see it's just too big. It looks all right, but um, it just turns round and round. You know, it's... Oh, so we've got this... So basically, it's too small, really, for the curvies, and too big for all the other sizes. So this is what happens, you see. Why don't they just make fashions to fit the curvies and fashions to fit the other sizes? Uh, because I, it wouldn't t just make a little bit less of each design. And instead of making a certain number of each design, make... A certain number of that design in curvy sizes and another equal number in regular sizes and, and then everyone's going to be happy but I mean no this is just not it's not I mean it looks okay but I don't like that you know if you buy a doll with this outfit on it wouldn't turn round and round like that because it would be made to fit oh dear well I think that looks quite nice on Erin and um, she's got the crooked arm, so she can hold the bag without it falling off. I'll just take the bag off to show you. But uh, 
it was quite tight doing this up but I don't so I don't know how it's going to fit curvy it might be too small but it does fit Erin oh, there goes the bag it does fit Erin quite well see it does up at the back like so it's got an elasticated round the waist so it might fit Natalia but we'll see but um yeah that's uh that's quite nice I think on Erin here fits her quite well right now surprisingly enough this is a success story so it fits Natalia as well it does up I, um didn't seem much more of a tighter fit and mind you I say it doesn't seem much more of a tighter fit than it did on Erin, but of course the the dolls I've noticed are the same sizes on top as they are on the regular dolls, so the curvy dolls are only bigger below the waist. Their top halves are always the same size as the regular size dolls. But um yeah that no actually I think this looks nicer on her. It fits her better, I think. Than it does a, the um Erin who's a regular. She won't be able to keep the bag up, of course, because it just fall off because her arms are straight. But um, no, I think that looks that looks nice on her. So maybe she can have this then. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to give it. I did think of Kiona, but I can't. The one with blue hair and the lilac legs, who was Dreamtopia, but I can't find her at the moment. But um, no, oh, that's okay, and it fits her well. So. It was a bit difficult getting it over their hands on both of them. And, of course, I think, really, the puffed sleeve ones um, look better on some... No, actually, that looks nice. No. No, I think that... Does, yeah, that, I think that is... Oh, that's nice. I'm pleased with that. At least that looks nice. But this one doesn't really fit either. I haven't got time now to um, try, try these on anyone, but I might do that at another time. I'll try this on Beryl now. It looks quite nice on her, but um, yeah, I don't know if the colour scheme suits her though. I think it suits someone with uh, red hair. I think, and it's just me imagination working overdrive. But I'm always going on about colour schemes. But um, it looks okay. But I think she looks better with her. I suppose unless I'm a, just because I'm used to seeing her in that. Now, I think that would look good on Erin as well. Probably look good on Natalia as well. And I think that would look good on Erin because of the colour scheme. But I'm going to put, put her back in her original for now. But it, yeah, so at least this dress fits. I haven't tried it on at all or petite, but um, I wouldn't be using it for one of those anyway, I don't think. Because I, I have to go by what colouring what colour scheme I think that's going to suit so yeah I think um I think she can have it look how much cream we have on top of this one today I'm pleased with this so I've brought him home to have as you can see <coughs> oh the problems I keep having but I keep treading on the lead coming from the computer and then it pulls it out and well I don't have any battery in it and haven't had for a long time I keep losing connection. I can be uploading something and uh, or trying to reply to someone, and then it just stop. I'm going to have one of these, I think. Oh, God. See, I don't. I've got. Don't have a smartphone. I don't want one, so that's my choice. But it, this is causing endless problems. Oh, I've got to start all over again now. Oh, God. Well, these look quite nice. At least the weather's meant to be getting a little bit warmer, thank goodness, because I have to have the heater on non-stop all the time, and so I, I've got to have the modem plugged into something different, and I've got loads of adapter plugs over there on just two power points. Anyhow, I'm going to try some. I might have the middle one for now. There we are. That's the centre. Hmm, that's the centre. <laughs> And this is this one. This is this one. I've got it on the macro setting now. That's the dark brown one. Well, no, it's the the green one. So I don't know what this one's like on this end. That one was sort of orangey, the first one. Oh, and this is the last one, the um brown one on this end. Hmm, quite nice, sort of a coffee flavour. Hmm. So I've got another one of these cameras because um 
try not to be the best camera in the world, but and I've got the pink one, I've got the blue one this time because I've already got the pink one, so let's see how going to be more of an O'Donnell aqua colour than it is, but still, um, it takes reasonably good pictures. The videos it used up too much space, because I can remember from the pink one, and the memory cards used up in no time. And unlike the pink one, I th you, you actually get a spare little micro SD card, and one of these two, oh, I, might, I, might, I might have got one with the pink one, and just didn't remember, because I'm... Um, so you can now uh, use that and put that in. But I may have, I think, I'm not sure if I actually, that doesn't really matter now anyway, but um, so I've got another one. I like these. 